Hello, I'm sorry, Mom here. My name is Nina, and today I am going to share with you some more palettes I've added to the declutter list. Um, so, the declutters I had up recently, I did record those back starting in July, and it did take a little while. Um, so, since then, just this last, like, just last week, I was going through and I just noticed I had way too many, like, neutrals and palettes I wasn't using. I haven't been doing my makeup as much as I should. And there was a few that I knew I wanted to, to give to Jessica. I knew she would love them. So I'm going to start with the bin of stuff that Jessica is taking. But first, my Glamlight Donut Palette. Um, she wanted this since I got it. And so I haven't been using it. I feel like I have these colors in Glamlight Formula. Or at least close enough. So I decided to just give this one to her. I think she will love it. And then, um, because at her school where she's at, she gets made fun of if she does the bright, colorful, really sparkly, shimmery, special shades that her mother loves. So, I give her this one. I've tried this one. Really love the shimmers in here. They're shiny, but they're not overly excessive. So, um, she's taking this one. She still wanted color, so there's some colorful palettes here. This is the Juvia's Place Wahala palette. She wants this one. It has some glitters in it. When she's at home or just going to a friend's house, she loves playing with glitter and all of that. So she really wanted this palette. So I'm going to let her have that one. And then she chose. She wanted to try Laura Grella's brand and means I have so many. This is the one she ended up picking out because this one does have some duochromes in it. So, she's taking this one, a really stunning palette. I just, it's very neutral and I just haven't gotten to using it. And then she wanted this palette. She's wanted this one for a while too. Mostly because of the wings. She's like her mother. Um, so she wanted this palette, so I decided to give it to her. I've used it once. Um, the shimmers weren't the super special whatnot. Um, going through my color stories of neutral palettes, I have so much like this, and this is so bulky, and so I decided to let her go ahead and have it. This is the Mora Celestial Love palette. I had that one in a subscription box. Um, this one came from Amazon, the buying program I'm in. And then I bought this on sale, this subscription box, and the Glam Donut I bought on sale. And then we have from IBY Super Bloom. I've used this palette. It was really good. Really loved the mattes. But going through, I just haven't been using it. So she wanted it. I decided that she could have it. She's wanted this palette for a while. And I just feel like I don't need it. This is the Be Bella Cosmetics Life in Pastel eyeshadow palette. Really cute. She's been wanting this palette. Like she asked me for it. My last declutter. So I just decided she can go ahead and have it. Instead of keeping it, and then um, I have three palettes here from Beauty Creations that she took. This one is Tiana. She really wanted this. I removed the funky shade here because I didn't want to take any chances that it was mold. She really liked this palette. Same with Remy, the Circus Clown. She wanted this one. And then Ariel, she wanted this one as well. This one had two shades I had taken out. Really pretty palette though. I just feel like I don't need this color story. And then the Cream Shop Fruit Fruity Smoothie Palette. She's wanted this one for a while, so I decided to give it to her. Um, I really love this glitter. It was only, really the only thing I was keeping it for was that glitter and that shimmer. But it's not worth keeping a nine pan for two shades. And then, as I was going through, I have three of these little, I think the brand's called Play. But this is a Peach Sea Seasonal Blending Eyeshadow Palette in one Sunset Grass. I had three of them. And this one was the color story that was too similar to everything else I already had. And this one would be perfect for her for school. So she's taking that one. And then, let's see, I have this body makeup tint that she wanted. 
some She Glam Complexion Pro. It's a brand new one I had bought in for backup and then didn't need it. And instead of keeping it until it goes bad, I'm just letting her have it. And then she wanted the KBD Locket Powder Foundation. She wants to try powder foundation. I told her she wants to try it. I'll give her that one. Because it's a good brand. And then Mac and Andy Loose Powder. This came from Timu. It's a pink powder, but it is sparkly. And so I didn't want it, but she wants it. Then we have Cover FX L1 shade. I had three of these, so I get her one that looked like her color. Cover FX um, Longwear Concealer in L2. And Cover XS FX Luminous Tinted Moisturizer. I give that one to her. So she could try different kinds of, you know, foundation and stuff. This is Fair Light. Um, let's see. Yeah, we got one more one. Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue brightening concealer in Fair Birch and then AOA Velour Highlighter in the Private Show. She wanted that. And this Iconic London Radiant Concealer and Brightener Brightening Duo in Neutral Fair. So this one has like a stick concealer and then it has the liquid. And I have used, I've tried this one. This one actually worked pretty good. And she wanted some good concealer. So that's everything I just decided to declutter that she's taking. Oops. She's been waiting for this one. Oh, actually, I think she forgot about it already. Alright, let me set that to the side. And then these are the ones that she passed on. So she did not want the Jasmine Beauty Creations palette. Really pretty though. I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then this one I got from Amazon. I love the outer packaging. Like this little girl is so cute. But when I use the palette, it sucks. It is a massive giant palette. I mean. And yeah, I use some of the shades here. I have no idea which ones. There's way too many shades here to try, but this one I know I like it's just falling apart. Yeah. Way too dry. And even rubbing it in it doesn't really it still looks spotty. Like very splotchy. And for a shimmer that's not a good sign. So, as much as I love the outer packaging on this one, it's going to go. And then, I know they're choked, so. I have three from Laura Geller. I just have too many neutrals. Um, this one was really pretty. Um, this one I never even swatched. Which is why I actually decided to let this one go. I was going to put it in my giveaway box. And this one, I did swatch this one. This one was too slimmer to a lot of stuff I already had. So I decided to pass on that one. And then the Laura Geller, wait, I didn't tell you the names of these. This is Delectables. And... Okay, where's the name? Because this one is also Delectables, but it is not the same. Pink Prosecco and Champagne Tears. And this one is Lord's Essentials. And this one has been swatched. Really pretty. I just have so much like it. And then this one came from Amazon. All the three Laura Geller ones came from Amazon. This is Smine, Shine. I'm not really sure. It's really weird and hard to read. It's 12 color eyeshadow palette. This one came from Amazon. And I just don't need it. I did a look with that one and it was okay. Then Wonder Beauty, Wonderness Escape. This palette is still pretty. I love the shimmers in here, but I'm just not using it. And then these Pupa palettes. I have Dreamer. 
really pretty and just not using it. And then Scorpio D Pile. I have no idea. Really pretty, just not using it. And this is, the shimmers are more like satin, so I don't need a hundred palettes like that. Tresluce Dolce Vita. Um, I have used this one. I wasn't impressed with the mattes. I never used the two liners. The shimmers, they were okay. So I don't need that one. The Berries and Cream Dreams Violet Boss Eyeshadow Palette. This one's I'm pretty sure it's still brand new. Pretty much it was brand new. I never used it, so yeah. Brand new. Never used. I'm gonna put this in my giveaway box. Um planning on trying to do giveaways either the end of December or the end of January. Not sure. Violet Violet Boss Coral Crush not using these shades so that one can go this one came from amazon this is the draw me rainbow by professional kiss new york 15 color eyeshadow palette this is actually very pigmented it worked really nice i actually really like this shade and this glitter um the only problem is there's only two actual shimmer shades in here and they're not super sparkly or anything and I think I have this shade somewhere else, so I'll be okay with that, that one. But I did try it. Very nice, very pigmented. I just don't think I'm going to use it. Then Pixie by Plus Tina Young. Fill and Fresh palette. Um, this palette I have used. I thought it was okay. Just the shimmers aren't shimmering enough for me. And for a neutral palette, I don't want a bunch of neutral palettes that just aren't spectacular. And let's see. Then from Blossom or 2AN. I'm not sure which one is the brand name. And this palette from Amazon. I have used it. It's a really cute palette. Works really nice. Just not my color story, really. Um, I have a lot of these already, like a lot of color stories like that, so it can go. And then only four more palettes. We have Carlin Smart Big Eyes Eyeshadow Palette. This is just a little mini. The one, sh there's a shimmer right here that's really pretty. And then there's a shimmer, then these two are, they look shimmery, but they're very satiny. So... I don't need that one. LA Colors Cursed. Yeah, that's just what it's called. Very pretty palette, just not super exciting. The Uma by Sharon C. I service Big Spender is what this one's called. This was like a dollar at my Walmart. And it's pretty. I just don't think that for a quad I'm going to reach for this. You Can Be um, Iceberg Makeup Palette. This one has got some stunning shades. Well, two shades that are stunning. Um, these are supposed to be blush and contour. And then this is a highlighter. It's one of the two stunning shades. I love this one. really pretty but i think i have plenty of stuff like that in other palettes that i don't need to keep this one and then we have a buffalone buffalon eyeshadow in teal dream it's just a single matte um it's nice it's pigmented i just don't reach for single mattes if I reach for single, it's going to be for, you know, a shimmer. And then I got these two blushes by CoverGirl at Walmart. And they've already hard panned. I couldn't get anything to pick up. So I'm just going to get rid of them. CoverGirl to blend. So flushed. Yeah, 35, 3, 3, 4, 5 hot frenzy. 
I have other colors like it. Very orange. Um, it looks more orange on camera. It's pretty, but I have colors like it already. So I just decided I would let that one go. And then I have this Cover FX Illuminating Setting Powder in light. I don't like the illuminating powder all over my face. I have the AOA All Eyes on Me Cool Blast. It just, I've used it for a while and it's, it's dying. It can go. Then Jim and Gloria White Liquid Liner. It's dead. <laughs> it can go. Um, the Amar Thick Long Mascara. This was amazing, but it's out. Been out for a little while, I just hadn't put it in anything yet. The Diamond Plumper Mineral, Mineral Wear Lip Plumper by Physicians Formula in Light Pink Princess Cut. I just don't like it. It burns. It hurts. It's not comfortable to wear. Even if it didn't have the burning, it still feels sticky, so this is gonna go. The She Glam Peach Corrector. I didn't even realize I had this. I thought it was a concealer. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Um, Iconic London Super Smoother Blurring Skin Tint. I thought that was a shiny one. That's a... Okay, so I'm going to have three more products here. We have the ColourPop Luxe Gloss. The Twinning the Gemini one. I tried to wear this the other day and I don't like the formula. It's too thick, too sticky. Then Della Robinson SPV Skin Perfecting Veil in Medium. It's just too dark, it doesn't work for me. So I'm gonna do that one. And Studio Makeup Tinted Moisturizer. I have no idea what the shade's called, but let me see it right there. It's too dark for me as well, so it's gonna go. So this is everything that I am getting rid of added to my declutter. So let me know down below what you think, and yeah, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I hope the rest of it goes well. Um, I'm planning on at some point putting these on Poshmark. Maybe Macari, but Macari's done some weird changes, so I'm not sure that that's an option anymore. Because they add like a new fee that makes it super expensive to buy anything there, and I'm just, I'm not sure. But I will, I will link it, or say something if I do. So, yeah. If you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye!